that's available today. Um, the, the laptops are very, um, you'll see when you open them, they, they, they're nice big laptops, they're strong, um, they're very good quality, but they're also extremely powerful laptops, so they're the latest technology. And, and when you're working with the latest technology, it's quite difficult because to run software on that, you need to have access to the internet or you need to have the latest software to be able to run on those laptops. So we've put, um, on, the, on that platform, we've put a office-based program, so the children will have access to spreadsheets, word processing, uh, presentation software, so they could do the normal, everyday running that they would need to do. They can write up speeches, they can do research, they can do all of that on the computer. Um, and that's free software that's on the computer, and it can link to uh, any of the office packages. Okay? And it looks identical to office, so it works beautifully. Um, on the computer as well, Duncan uh, and I had, I had a lot of old programs when I was a teacher that I thought would be really beneficial for kids. They're the best reading programs that I could find when I was a teacher and I just thought it would be really beneficial. The problem was the computers were so new, I didn't want to run any of the old stuff. I didn't like the old stuff at all. It said, that old stuff is too old. But the content was really good. So what we did was we, we were able to download what they call an emulator. So basically it's a program which reboots the computer into an old-fashioned computer. So it makes it look like Windows, what do we call XP? Um, you know, Windows XP, which is maybe 10 years ago. Maybe more, 15 no. years ago. <laughs> and so then the computer changes, and then you can run some of those old programs, not all of them. Okay, so we downloaded as many as we can. It's not, it's not perfect. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they hang. You never know when that's going to happen. But most of the time, the children will be able to use them. So they're fantastic reading programs. There's programs to make them think, you know, problem-solving programs where they, it's called the incredible machine. They have to work out how to connect this machine together and how this machine is going to do something for them. So it makes them really think. Um, they are games that make them, uh, they are games that are memory games, you know, to help them with memory. Uh, just clever games that just help children think differently and how to strategize. Uh, so we've got a whole lot of those games. So I would say to you, you've probably got about anything between 30 and 50 different activities that the children could be engaged in. Uh, those activities you will not be able to do very quickly. Uh, so I would say to you that... Um, it's probably well over, uh, if you sat down all day every day, it would still take you a year to get through everything. Mm -hmm. So based on the amount of time the children are going to get, you've probably got a couple of years of activities. Okay? The idea would be that as soon as possible, you link those computers to a stable network where we have access to the internet. That means you have to find partners or people or whatever that allow you to get that or we get some type of fiber link into the school or whatever at some stage. We need that. Once you've got that, those computers are so powerful that they'll be able to click in and we'll be able to download everything for free and you'll be able to continue at a much faster, quicker rate. But for now, it kind of ties you over until you have that. Internet will become something that nearly everybody in Africa gets access to in the future and it'll become more reliable, it'll become quicker, it'll become cheaper. So I would say to you, you have the right tools for the future as long as you look after them. Okay, so the important part here is don't underestimate the power, they're very powerful. Uh, if you look after them, they're going to last the school for many years. Okay, I would say that technology, there's, there's a slow, it's slowing down the development in technology and computers. They can't go faster because the processor gets too hot. So right now we're stuck because of the heat of the processor, and so computers aren't changing too dramatically. So I would say to you, my India, I think you're going to have at least five years without any need to, to change those computers. It'll be fast enough, quick enough, and get you through five years, if not longer. Okay, so five years minimum, I think you're going to get out of those computers. And you'll see today when you open them up, they're really nice, okay? They've got excellent sound cards on them, so there's really good sound. What we don't know is the environment. So in that room, if all 20 computers, 25 mm -hmm. computers are playing sound at the same time, it might become too much. So we need to test that. 
and we'll have to decide if the children can't hear, we might find that we're going to have to add some headsets at a later stage, okay, just so that they can all hear correctly. So that's an option we have to think about, but I would say before we go and just waste the money and just buy it, rather let's test it, we can always add that at a later stage. They've all got mice and they've got plugging mice so that we don't have any problems, they're the quickest and the easiest, you plug it in and it works. Um, so everything that you need is there. Okay, I think it's strong enough, powerful enough to do everything that you need to do for now. Will you need to add things in the future? 100% you're going to want to add some things. That could mean that you find some companies that are prepared to donate good software. Software is very expensive for schools. It's a bit unfair because you should get it for free. Okay. There are some good companies that do it for free. The only problem is it's all on the internet. So that's where the modern everything is going. So at some stage we'll have to connect you to the internet and that'll make life a you know, little bit better. So that's what we'll start with today. We'll put those out and we'll demonstrate and we'll show the teachers that are coming today to learn how to get in and how to get out of those programs. We'll show you how to do that. Will you experience frustrations in the beginning? Of course you're going to. It's brand new. It's like any technology. When you got your phone, were you able to do everything that your phone could do? No. Did you have to mess around? Yes. Are you going to mess around? You're going to have to on the computers. We expect you to mess around. Okay, so that's what happens. Okay, it's technology. You've got to play with it. Okay? <coughs> Make it work for you. The then we've also added, as you know, we've also added the robotics. So you've got five brand new robotics kits arriving at the day. Brand, brand new. You'll open them yourselves. Uh, we've given you books so that you actually have content. We've given you teacher's guides. And we've given you book two, which is for in the future. So for the teachers, you know that your job is to stay ahead of the students. Okay, You don't want the students in the beginning telling you what to do. In the end, they should be telling you what to do. Not in the beginning. Okay, In the beginning, you need to help them. So you're going to have to think about, are you going to start a robotics club? Are you going to do it after school? How is the school going to implement it? How, what decisions are you going to make around that? Okay? Uh, and so you've got five brand new sets, which means you can do up to 15 children. We've brought you a mat, so you can roll out the mat. You've got a test mat that you can start with. You've got the content in the books. You've got enough books to start with a robotics club. So there's enough there to get going. If you need more, then you will channel that through um, the support that you're getting, and you'll be able to uh, ask for that. And I guess you're lucky in having Rejeco and the Benoni Lions and that you have two uh, forms of support in this school. So this looks like it's a very spoilt and special school <laughs> <laughs> because of the support that you're getting and because of that. And just remember that we've thought about what you're doing. So we've thought about all the good work that Sia Pomalela is doing in the, in the, in the library and, and the fantastic effort that they've put into your school to support your staff and to support the, what's going on. And we've tried to put the content on the laptops to match that so that they're stories and it's to encourage reading and to get your students to read more and to get your students to have a passion for reading because that's going to become the tool that they use to educate themselves in the future. Okay, so we built it on the back of all the good work that Rejeka and her team have done. And then we've also tried to make sure that the money that's been invested in the school is well used in terms of a continuation. And then we haven't just said, right, start with the library, continue with reading. We've then also added the highest form uh, that you can get in this country, which is robotics. And if you've listened to the president's speech and all the latest handouts at the moment, the schools in this country are going to get robotics, but I can tell you now, I've got inside information, they're not actually getting physical kits. It's all going to be, not. it's going to be done on the computers, it's not going to be real robotics. So you guys are even ahead of all of those guys, so you're going to be ahead of all the schools in South Africa. So you really are in a privileged position, and now it's up to you, the responsibility now becomes yours, to take this wonderful opportunity and turn it into something that uh, the children in this school never forget. Thank you. I think that's an explanation that even I can understand. <laughs> um, I can't thank these two guys enough for what they've done for us. I know that Duncan spent with his brother nearly a full weekend working on this, plus the week before he went swanning around Europe <laughs> and having a lovely holiday. So thank you guys. Um, I think the school owes you a big thank you. We, as Lions, owe you a very big thank you. We wouldn't have got this far so quickly. And I know it seems like I promised you these laptops might work. 
well over a year ago. But one thing to Brent and Duncan was the icing on the cake for us. It has helped us tremendously. So you might have waited a little bit, but you would have waited a lot longer without these guys because then we would have their, their time has been given to us free and gratis. Had we not had these two guys, we would have had to pay for somebody to do all this work for us, which then would have perhaps delayed your receiving of the laptops even a little bit longer. But thank you guys, we really appreciate what you've done for me. And now we're still waiting for the Winoni City Times to arrive. <laughs> Um, maybe we could get one or two laptops in. Well, I think we should carry them one into the room and we can start yeah. setting some up. Yeah. Yeah. Because when they arrive, they probably want to see pictures of that more than pictures yes. of us sitting yeah. around the table. Yeah. And so, I mean, and I think there's enough of us here if we all just go and carry okay. two or whatever. Yeah, but before we start, I need to say something. Okay. Um, what can I do to the I think if you have more than one, you will have. And then it really is, we actually don't know what the time is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're not doing this for us, you're doing this for this community. The community in the end is going to benefit. This is what the nation should be. You should be able to say we are powerless, those are powerless. We're making this community proud. And I always say when you get young students and teachers who come from this community, it's a beautiful community. I always say it's good for the children to see some of them coming into this group of people to become a teacher. Because most of us don't belong in this community. They must not own this school, this school. They must own everything in this school. We should now be able to say one day we're heading over the school to the community so that the school can benefit, so that the group can benefit. So I'd like to thank you all. I know maybe there'll be time for us to give a those things or something like that. Maybe two are here, but I think it's proper to let them here to our school. We're very fortunate to be here. And uh, we're very generous of the people to us. We don't want to do other schools. <laughs> we don't do it on the school. Yes, but, but on a very serious note, it would be nice um, for those schools to see what we have and what we're doing. Um, as we get used to the program and to the system, I think it will be proper one day to show it off so that we encourage others because it's no use for us to have resources and keep it to ourselves. We need people to be interested to know what is happening so that we can also grow. Thank you so much. Thank you. No pleasure. We have, I've had great joy out of this and as I say, I'm like a child on Christmas morning this morning. I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to see you again too. Um, we're now going to all gather our laptops, etc. in from the car and take them into the computer room. Then we can do um, the handover. Um, and then if you want to stay until um, these guys are set to put them basically we just need to do the actual handover to you guys, Mr. Manana, Mr. Suzanne. And then we can move forward from there. Terry Ann hasn't got all day, I appreciate that. And she's very good at um, supporting us. A lovely article, thank you, on the um, Facebook the Noni City Times on our induction a couple of weeks ago. It was very, very nice, thank you. So, shall we move, guys, and get, see, get these laptops? <laughs>